Before I begin this video, I would like to say that every time I make a video on Israel or its aggressions on Syria, the number of views are usually less than others, maybe because YouTube is shadow banning videos related to Israel. So please consider watching the video that I posted before this one. It is about a Syrian prisoner in the Israeli jails who served 32 years of his life in prison. Now let's begin with today's topic. Syria builds its first anti-cancer drugs factory. I find this topic very interesting for many reasons, most importantly because the ongoing war and sanctions against Syria didn't stop science and research creativity. The factory for manufacturing of anti-cancer drugs was inaugurated a few days ago in Adra industrial city in Damascus countryside. The same area which Islam's army has occupied for six years and the same town where the mentioned terrorist organization kidnapped tens of women and children and put them in cages and forced the men to dig tunnels in the city of Duma and burned others alive. Now, according to Sana, the factory is the first locally and Arab manufactured anti-cancer drugs in which its production capacity reaches 6,000 vial and ampules per hour from the aseptic liquid line and 12,000 capsules per hour. Syria's health minister Nizar Yazidi said that the factory produces Syria's first manufactured anti-cancer drugs, indicating that number of authorized pharmaceutical laboratories reached at 96 laboratories, which cover over 90% of local market needs. Speaking to Sana, the chief executive of the company Adnan Jafu said that the factory will cover 70% of the total pharmaceutical varieties for chemical therapy and will cover the local market needs and the rest production will be allocated for exportation. Syria imports all medicine for the treatment for tumors and vaccines from abroad, while the local production covers 90% of the other pharmaceutical varieties of the local market needs. It is worth to mention that local and World Health Organization officials blame Western sanctions for severely restricting pharmaceutical imports in Syria, which have hit children's cancer treatment for several years. The sanctions were preventing many international pharmaceutical companies from dealing with the Syrian authorities as well as hindering foreign banks in handling payments for imported drugs. But now Syria has its own anti-drug factory, sorry, I mean the evil Assad regime that enjoys killing children has inaugurated an anti-cancer factory that will cover the big part of Syria's local market needs and will once again provide medicine to children dying of cancer, whereas the so-called civilized world imposes sanctions on the country and deprives children of medicine. I'm Kevor Galmasian of Syriana Analysis. I hope you will support this work if you appreciate it. Your support does keep this work coming, as little as $2 per month to patreon.com slash Analysis make a big difference.